You've probably heard the saying, the pen is mightier than the sword, but have you heard of paper armor being stronger than metallic protective clothing? It goes against everything we've learned about warfare, whereby burly warriors are usually clad in steel or iron plate armor. But according to ancient Chinese records, using paper armor was sometimes deemed the superior option. Paper making originated in China 2000 years ago. During the Eastern Han period, the Chinese eunuch Kailan is credited with the invention, though examples of earlier, more primitive paper have been found. Paper was a game-changing invention, providing a more practical writing surface than bamboo, wood, or silk. In addition to its obvious uses, the Chinese even used it to make paper armor. Historically, the Chinese have demonstrated an impressive ability to protect soldiers with a variety of materials, ranging from turtle shell bronze, stone, leather, and eventually steel, expertly crafted into small, square, rectangular, and fish-scale-shaped pieces to provide optimal protection during warfare. What may come as a surprise is the mention of silk and paper armor in ancient Chinese records. In Han Papermaking Magazine, Peter Decker noted that the earliest mention of paper armor is during the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907 AD. It is said that Shang Suiting invented paper armor to help civilians defend themselves during war. The governor of Hidong is even reported to have outfitted an army of 1,000 with suits of pleated paper armor. According to Berthold Laufer, Tang period paper armor was made of folded paper sheets, while troops in Anhui province, celebrated for its paper manufacture, are remembered for paper armor created out of triangular scales. The most detailed account of paper armor is contained in the 16 to 1 Wu Bei Zhai, or Treaties on Military Preparedness, in which naval commander Mao Yuani explained that for soldiers in the South, the best choice for foot soldiers is paper armor mixed with a variety of silk and cloth. King Dynasty descriptions favored Korean paper for its toughness, and U.S. Consul Edward Bedlow remarked, It seems ridiculous to call such combinations armor, and yet they make an armor superior in many instances to steel. The Discovery Channel's Mythbusters tested whether paper armor was as protective as steel and found paper armor was more effective against swords and arrows. Paper was likely folded and sewn into wads and cotton pouches to create individual paper scales before being sewn into a cotton backing, explained Scott Rodel. While effective against arrows and musket balls, Paper armor was not efficient against rifle bullets. Lightweight and resistant to rust, modern-day bulletproof armor is based on similar principles 